Okay, this tutorial is, is more on doing an illustration using Corel Draw X3 and using the artistic media. Okay, first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a pencil, but I'm going to use a rectangular tool. Okay, so what I've done, I'm just going to do that again. I went to my rectangular tool here, click on that, and I'll just make a... Okay, there. Make sure the drawing is inside the page border because we're going to use those uh, pages later on. Okay, so I'm going to hit on my plus sign to duplicate this rectangle, plus sign. And then I'm going to move this one over up. Okay. And I'm going to do plus sign again. I'm going to move this up here because that will be the eraser. I'm going to zoom in. And then I'm gonna going to make this a curve so that I can edit the, the nodes. So I go to Arrange and click on Convert to Curves. And I go to my Shape tool. And then I'm going to click on this line and then right mouse click, go to Curve. Then I can shape it. So this one will be my eraser. Okay. So F4 to view the whole thing and then what I'm going to do now here for this one because technically speaking the uh, you know the pencil base is not really straight so I'm gonna do a you know, like a W shape here so before I can do that okay I click on this rectangle and go to arrange and go to convert to curves now since it's a curve then I can add nodes so you go to your shape tool Double click here, one, two, and I'll double click here, one, two, one, two, one, two, and here, one, two. So that's how you add nodes. Okay, so I'm going to move this over. I'm just going to remove my snap to objects first so that I can move freely. So one, two, I probably would add another one, so I'll double click. To add a node there okay there you go okay now I'm going to do the pencil here okay so I go to my bezier tool which is this one and I, I'm going to my snap to objects again so I can have it snap to every node and I'll just move it there click 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 and click okay now now I'm gonna put the lead here so I'm just going to make a bezier tool from here and going there okay so I'm gonna zoom in again I'm just gonna fix that line okay F4 so I got my pencil here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some lines here. Okay. So I go to my Bezier tool again. Since it's tapping to every node, I click on that node and see the perpendicular shows up. So that's good. Okay. And then I go back to my Bezier tool again. I click this node and go perpendicular. There you go. F4 to view the whole thing. And... Uh, Okay, I'm done. Now, I'm going to put this in the center here. Okay. And then I'm going to I'm going to copy this full object. Okay? Make a crossing window and then control C or you can go edit copy. And then I'm going to put it in the next page. So this one to add a page. Okay? That's page 2. And then I'll paste it in page two. Okay. And I'll go back to page one. Okay. Now I'm in page one. It's exactly the same object. Then I'm going to make a crossing window. And you go to your artistic media tool, which is this one. Okay. Make sure this is important. You won't see any options of artistic media unless you click on the brush here. 
I forgot to tell you about this in the other in the last tutorial but you have to click on brush because it's a brush stroke that we need okay and then let's say I'm gonna choose this one and then I'll increase it I'm sorry I have to select the object first and I go to artistic media okay remember it has to be a brush and then I choose my media so that one then you have to just do it okay and I'll make it black so that I can see how it looks like okay so that's not really what I really wanted so I'll just choose another one which is probably this one okay and then you just have to wait okay and that's I'm gonna make it thinner okay and if I'm not really happy with it I'm gonna change it to this one so it's really more an experimenting things and yeah uh, okay I think I like that and I'll just make the brush stroke thicker okay and then I think I'm okay so now you can see that it's a uh, it's more like a like a pencil sketch now yeah okay. now I'll go back to page two now what I'm gonna do here I'm just gonna color this so for example here I'm gonna color it with with orange for the eraser uh, okay I'm just gonna go that way and okay and I'm just going to make it if you have interactive transparency tool click and drag okay I think that's good and then this one I probably make it a golden color because that's for the eraser or probably that one's fine and then this whole thing here I can make it uh, say pale yellow okay and then this one same thing I'll be pale more pale okay and then this one I'll make it black but since this one is how to make this black so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, go to my smart fill and I'm going to make this black I'm just gonna click on that and it goes black okay now this one I can put transparency just to make uh, an effect and then I'm going to select all or control A and I'm going to remove the outline okay so this is my page one and this is my page two so in my page two I control A to select all and then copy it or you can go to this icon here for copy and go back to your page one and then paste and then you make this to back of page order to back of page okay so there you are it's a pencil now simple line drawing I was able to make it artistic using the artistic media well you're not really stuck on on the uh, on it yet I mean you can still edit this picture Okay, so I would say, let's say Control Z here. Okay, let's go back to page two, and let's say I wanted, I wanted a different color, or, or you know what? I let's say I decided that this one, I'll make it a darker brown because it's a lead like that, for example, and I'll put a little bit of transparency. Click and then drag there. Okay. it's also a good idea to to group this so go control a and then I'll group and this is group this is the icon for group okay and I'll copy that control C and go back to my page one and it's also good to to group this one so that if you want to change the artistic media style you can always do that so control a to select then group this is the icon for group and I'll just paste my media and go back to arrange uh, order to back of page there you go